In this video, I'm going to show you how I use Photoshop to turn my original artworks into Christmas cards. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new project and select A5 in size and I'm going to convert the colour profile to working CYMK. That's because I'm going to be making prints of these and so CMYK is for more printed things. Your RGB is for um, more digital prints, I believe. I've then gone up to file and place embedded or insert embedded and then I've selected the image of my Christmas kitty. As you can see, there's a box around it with your little um, pointers that you can adjust the size and you can adjust the position. So I was just showing you there. Now I'm just going to position this to the halfway point. There's a pink line that comes across so I can see that I'm halfway down and positioning my kitty where I want it. Now in this case I don't mind cutting off a little bit of the bottom so I was quite happy there. I've then gone on to that right hand side, left clicked and dragged down to the little box with the plus in it that creates a duplicate of that layer. And I'm going to use that because I want these to look professional. And I'm going to shrink it down and position it in the midpoint of the opposite side. But because this is a card and it's going to fold, I need to change the orientation of that because otherwise it will be upside down on my finished card. So I'm going to go to Edit and Transform and then down to Rotate 180 degrees. And that's turned the image the way around that I need it. And I'm just going to make sure that I'm happy with the position there and the sizing before I move on to my next step. Once again, I'm going to File and Place Embedded. And now I'm going to choose my logo because I want people to know that I'm the person that made the cards. So here's my logo, nice and big. And again, just dragging it down to the right size that I need and placing it in the centre. Um, this will be at the bottom of the card um, when it's all printed out. So again, I need to rotate that by 180 degrees to make that sit where I need it and press enter to come out of that screen. But now that is my card as I want it to be. But it needs to say Merry Christmas. It needs this Christmas card. It needs some Christmas. So I've gone to the text box. I'm typing in Merry Christmas. I've pressed the enter in between the words because I want them on different lines. And then I'm going to go up to my select tool now. And I'm going to drag that Merry Christmas to where I want it, where I think it looks good. At the moment, you can't really see very well because it's the wrong colour. So I've double clicked on that and I've clicked up the top where the colour is. And I'm dragging that pointer right over to the far left. And that's changed it to the white. And as you can see, this menu, I can go through any of the formats of the fonts that I want um, before I settle on the one I'm happy with. And now I'm just adjusting the size. Just make sure when you're adjusting the text that everything's highlighted, otherwise nothing's going to happen. So I tried one size, it was too big. The next size was too small. So I've manually typed in, I think, 33 um, points on mine um, to get it the right size to where I want it to be for the position I wanted to sit in. So it's looking all good for now, but you can't really see the Merry Christmas as well as you could. So I've got the layer highlighted and I've gone down to FX and I'm going to click on Stroke. Now that's going to let me outline this image so that it stands out a bit better. But first of all, I'm going to choose the colour. And I like to choose a colour that's part of my image so that everything blends together and it doesn't look out of place. So I'm selecting a darker colour from my artwork. And then I've got it set to outside. And then, as you can see, moving the slider up and down, I can choose how thick I want that outline to be. So I've got mine set at about six pixels. And I think that works really well for this one. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten my image out. I've right clicked on one of the layers. I just cl clicked merge visible and that's flattened everything out. So now that I can go into file and new and now I'm going to select A4. That's because I want to be able to print this as a um, borderless print and I can only do that on A4 on my printer. So A4 and set it to CYMK once again because I'm printing this and then going back into my other image, left clicking and dragging the pointer over to my new tab and that's brought the image across 
to this new tab. It's facing the wrong way now, so I need to go into Edit and Transform and rotate 90 degrees. doesn't matter which direction, but I'm going to make sure that lines up halfway down where that pink line is. And then I'm going to duplicate, the, duplicate that layer again by dragging that layer down to the plus little plus box and then pulling that where I want it to be. And I like it so that they're facing opposite directions. So I'm going to go to edit and transform and rotate that 180 degrees. So I've got a solid line to cut along um, when I come to turn these into cards. So I've now got into my print options. I'm going into print settings. So this is for me, for my Canon. I don't know if this is for everybody's, but I'm making sure that I've clicked photo. I want it borderless printing. I'm making sure that my paper's right and that the print quality is high. And then I need to go into my printer settings and make sure that it's not got any profiles selected. So I've got mine off because I'm letting Photoshop choose the colours. And if I don't turn that off, the printer's going to be fighting with it. So I want Photoshop to decide what my colours are. So I'm making sure all those are ticked. Click on Next. Now I've already also got it set so that it does me a print preview as well. So I can now see... But as I've said, it's borderless printing. I've got no border around that. That's going to print my image exactly how I want it. And so I can just start printing now. So now everything's printed. As you can see, it's printed out lovely on my nice, thick photo paper. This is an archival photo paper. It's very good quality and it makes for beautiful cards. So I've got that printed out. Right in comes my trusty guillotine. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that print back up and I'm going to line up that centre line. You see now this is why I wanted that line across there. I wanted them facing different directions. So I had a solid line that I could line up along my guillotine so that I know where to cut. Of course you can also use a ruler and a sharp craft knife to do this if you want to as well. Just make sure you are using a metal ruler and that you line it up exactly straight to where you want it. So I take a bit of a moment to make sure I do that. I just realise it's not quite right. I'm just readjusting again because it is important to make these straight. Well, it's not the end of the world if you don't quite line it up. You can trim off little bits to make them look right and to cut the other image off. But preferably we don't want to be wasting any of this paper. So there you can see. I've got my two cards are ready to be folded. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold this in half. And then I've got a really handy sort of folding tool. I'll make sure it's nice and accurate. The corners are matching. I've got a nice and handy um, folding tool that I'm just bringing in here. And it's got like a felt covering over it. And I really like this because it means that it doesn't damage the print work. So it's not going to damage or leave marks where I don't want it, but it's going to help me get a nice crisp crease on that card there. And I'm going to do the same on the back just to flatten it out. And now you can see we've got a nice Christmas card there, beautifully printed on the front with my um, logo on the back. So I'll repeat that again with the next card. So literally just fold it over, make sure that my corners and my edges meet up exactly. Use my tool to push down and crease nice and firmly, crease on the back as well. And there we have two lovely Christmas cards ready to go into their set. I sell these as sets of five along with five envelopes in a biodegradable sleeve and finish that off with a logo sticker at the back. These are available from my Etsy shop. If you found this information useful, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next week. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. That way you'll be notified of any new content that I post. For now though, bye guys.